Hi guys, today we're making something for the sweet tooth people. Um, we're, do we're starting with dates, you know, dates is very nutritious and very good for you. And in this recipe, there's no extra sugar or sweetener of any kind. So I can really say you should try this. Okay, I've taken my dates and I've cut them into, into thirds. The dates is the dry dates, is not the medallion dates. So that's one cup of dates. And then I'm adding two tablespoons of co coconut oil. You can see it's cold by us. The winter has come in full view. And I, I'm adding one third of a cup of water. So this will go in on the stove for about 10 minutes. Just to, to um, get the dates nice and soft. Okay, you can see that the dates still aren't fully there. I'm just adding a little bit of water. I don't want to put too much liquid from the start because then you have a problem to cook it all away. But you need the dates to be nice and soft. They're starting, starting to give way now. It just, I think some dates are more dry than others. I'm actually going to add another one. So in the end, that will be at least half a cup of boiling water with one cup of the dates and two tablespoons of the coconut oil. We, we use the coconut oil because we want them to set in the fridge and um, we need to just incorporate with this mixture so that it be, can be nice and hot and melted and then we can add the rest of the ingredients now we're getting to the place where we want to be okay so we can put it off and we're ready to mix in the rest of the ingredients okay so this is coming from the stove to this we will add half a cup of coconut and half a cup of the granola that i made in one of my previous recipes, please check the bottom at the end for the link. To this we will add one teaspoon of natural vanilla. And now you just press the whole thing shoot together. Oh, this Hot is really hot. So try not to burn yourself. You can see it's coming together very well now. So I've prepared. You take your little glass dish, then you take. This is about a third of a cup of coconut, but you can decide how much coconut you want to put at the bottom. I think that will be enough. You just need a good layer to cover the bottom. Then you will, without disturbing the bottom, just put your date mixture on top. We will press it down now. I just want to put it all on top first. Oh, the smell of the dates and the coconut. It's just all absolutely wonderful. The vanilla is coming through. I'm actually just thinking now if you want to add a little bit of lemon rind. I think that will also enhance the flavor. I think this is a, something that makes you feel like home. So let's just press it down and make it nice and flat. And then if you want to use coconut on top, you can. But for just for a twist, I'm putting some peanuts 
that crushed, I want to say. They're not really all that fine. Put some peanuts. I'm actually going to add some little bit of coconut with it on top too. Just to keep the interesting factor going. And now you have to press the nuts in there. Because if you don't press them in there, they will not stick. They will fall off and you will cry. You need the flavor inside the blocks, not outside. Okay. So this you will put in the fridge till it's cooled down properly about three hours or overnight is actually best. So you can see this ones I've already put in the fridge last night. And they're quite firm and absolutely wonderful you can see there was a mouse in my house already so there you go this is one of the best things you can give your kids for sustained energy so this is also very high in fiber that's why the GI is so low and it's absolutely wonderful to put in your kids lunch boxes or to serve at their children's party and I'm sure they will all enjoy it. So there you go, all of your sweet toothed people. This is a wonderful snack you can have. You can take it to lunch. You can invite your friends if you really want to share. But I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you again next time. So please give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe if you haven't yet and press the bell so that you can know when the subscription is up. Keep well. God bless. Bye.